Some people keep asking why I didn't show the actual solar panel cooling system working. So what I'm doing now, just to set up a test, this is the temperature, ambient temperature sensor. I'm getting uh, my assistant here just to hold it into some ice so that it'll get colder. And now you can see the pump's just turned on. And in a moment it'll turn off again. Any moment. Okay, it's turned off. So now we'll go up and have a look at the panels while Jesse keeps holding that on there. And hopefully we'll see some water come out of the uh, panel cooling system as well. So I've got to get on the roof, obviously. There it goes, running a second time. Okay, it's a bit of a windy day today. So it wouldn't normally actually need to turn on. And my water's probably going to spray everywhere. So, here we are at the top of the panels. I said this thing's been here for a year or so, so it's got a bit uh, messy. I need to tidy up these sprayers a little bit, but you can see that the panels are wet now. Hopefully you can see the panels are wet. And shortly, the spray should turn on again. So there we go. Hopefully you can see that the sprays are spraying now. The wind's blowing it everywhere. <laughs> As I said, normally it wouldn't run when it's this windy because the wind is cooling the panels down enough to not need to run. And if I go up and show you the sun, you can see the sun's actually behind a cloud at the moment. But just for demonstration purposes, putting the ice on the ambient temperature thermostat makes the system run <laughs> so you can see quite a lot of wind well, the water's actually blowing the wrong direction but you get the general idea that's how it works uh, hopefully I can show you the thermostat well, I can't really but underneath there in the center is where my thermostat's just touching the back of the panels so I can measure the temperature panels. Oh, and there goes the water and the wind's spraying it all over me. So now I'm cool. <laughs> I think we've done enough. Thank you.